Adobe recently revealed Project Gingerbread, an incredible AI tool that lets you create amazing images using 3D presets set by users. It combines language prompts and 3D modeling to give unbelievably accurate results. But before getting into all of that, why did Adobe announce Gingerbread so close to releasing Firefly? Adobe's Project Gingerbread was unveiled at Config 2023, and although we know next to nothing about its release date, Adobe Max 2023 coming up later in the year should have a lot more information for us. Adobe often saves major announcements for its in-house show, but in today's fast-pacing and ever-evolving AI industry, days count a lot more than weeks. Adobe's Firefly was only launched just over four months ago, and it's already generated over 200 million images, with about 250 million users so far. That's just how successful Adobe's first entry into the AI game has been. And now we have Project Gingerbread, a far more accurate AI tool for designers. But what's the difference between these and other similar AI tools? Project Gingerbread is only Adobe's second entry into the world of AI. Prior to Gingerbread, the company only had Firefly, which on a technical level is quite similar to text-to-image AI like Stable Diffusion and OpenAI's DALI 2. Both these AI tools, quite like Adobe's Firefly, can transfer the style of one image to another and also generate images from just text descriptions. Adobe's Firefly was also directly integrated into Photoshop as Generative Fill, with a goal to bring AI to more creative workflows. Generative Fill enables you to use text prompts to expand, add, or even remove content in new layers without having to alter the original image. Generative Fill can be considered an evolution of Content Aware Fill, which has been in use for about four years and uses AI to remove certain distracting elements from quiet backgrounds. However, with Firefly's Generative Fill, you are offered more control over the results. AI content can even be generated either outside or inside the existing drawing area. Alexandru Kostin, Vice President of Generative AI at Adobe, said, with Firefly, everyone who creates content, regardless of their expertise or talent, will be able to use their own words to generate content the way they dream it up. Whilst all these features contribute to just how efficient Firefly is as an AI tool, here's the real catch. Firefly avoids the logistical and ethical pitfalls which several of its rivals have been victim to, and that's a difficult task. According to Adobe, the Firefly model is copyright compliant because it's been trained with images from openly licensed content, its own stock database, and public domain content for which licenses have expired. Firefly's copyright compliance makes almost all the difference in today's AI image generation landscape. Take Stable Diffusion, for example. This AI tool, whilst quite useful, falls to a number of pitfalls. Basically, AI image generation must learn all about items from somewhere, so its programmers swept the internet in search of art with metadata. They did this without the permission of the artists, therefore raising problems of copyright. Stable Diffusion doesn't produce images from scratch, it virtually generates them from ones it has studied. So, both from creating and learning, it uses the work of other artists, regardless of if they've granted permission or not. Unsurprisingly, other AI tools and companies are faced with the exact same copyright issues. Two major companies behind popular AI image generation tools, Midjourney and Stability AI, are presently in the crosshairs of a legal case that claims they infringed on the rights of artists everywhere by training their AI tools on internet scraped images. While stock image supplier Getty Images also took Stability AI, AI, the company funding open source music and image generating systems like Dance Diffusion and Stability Diffusion, separately to court, allegedly for using images from its site without permission to train the AI tool Stable Diffusion. Well, now that you see, even though Firefly has a number of technical features with other text to image AI like Stable Diffusion and DALI 2, its copyright compliance is what really sets the AI tool apart a feature that will definitely be integrated into Project Gingerbread. What else makes Gingerbread so good? Adobe integrated Firefly into several programs in its creative suite, including Photoshop, Illustrator, and Premiere Pro, in an array of ways that go beyond basic text-to-image prompts, and that's also going to be the goal with Project Gingerbread. It could even become an extension of Firefly. The opportunities here are vast, but what sets Project Gingerbread above other similar AI tools? Currently, AI image tools such as Midjourney and Stability AI give their users little control over generated images besides text prompts. However, other research AI projects like Draggan have shown that accurate AI image generation isn't a thing of the past. 
it's quite feasible. In fact, Project Glygen and Meta's Maker Scene, which make use of 2D sketches as templates for image filling, also offer a lot of control outside of just text-only image systems. But even with all that, none have been able to get past the research lab and become mainstream. And that's what places Adobe's Project Gingerbread above other AI tools. Besides Adobe's vision of making AI generation more flexible and accurate, they also plan on making it more accessible like Firefly. Gingerbread might be an image generation tool, but what it really is is an artistic platform that amplifies the creative abilities of design professionals and even just artists in general. With Gingerbread, you can create AI-generated content that captures your unique voice and perspective, offering limitless opportunities for artistic expression and an entire canvas to really express creativity. Whilst this might be the future of AI, the stock photography industry will be facing some new challenges. You can now probably see how much potential Project Gingerbread has. Its ability to produce photography-like results holds great promise. However, the standout feature lies in the level of control it offers users, allowing them to fine-tune the generation process and achieve the desired aesthetics in the final image. And here's why. In addition to generating visuals that genuinely meet the requirements of designers, Gingerbread will also be quite beneficial once the legal framework for AI-generated visuals have been defined. So far, authorities like the USCO has stated that content created with AI cannot be copyrighted, and the reason for this is pretty understandable. They are machine-made lacking the human creator element required to be intellectual property. Makes sense. However, that same body also stated that AI-generated content could be subject to copyright if you can prove that there was just enough human intervention in the creating process. In this context, an AI tool like Gingerbread that puts decisive customization edits in the hands of humans would undoubtedly be exciting to explore. There's a reason why its preview alone was enough to cause waves across the entire creative industry. AI tends to put things smack bang in the middle of the image, but what if I want to compose around it? Brooke Cooper, principal designer for emerging designer Adobe, said this during a preview of Project Gingerbread. That question captured the importance of Gingerbread to designers, an AI tool that breaks from predictability and gives designers the ultimate amount of control. Besides that, it will also be able to generate the most photorealistic AI images yet, perfectly combining synthetic image with 3D modeling. But how? We're getting into that shortly. Well, to put it into context for you, Gingerbread, instead of taking a more dictatorial role, swapped that for a more cooperative one. So suppose you're creating an image with a text prompt, like a champagne bottle on a glass table. Other traditional AI tools would just plop the champagne bottle right in the center of the frame, giving designers very little control over what they want. However, with Gingerbread, you have to create a 3D model of the desired scene first. Let's say the champagne bottle is positioned to the far left of a glass table. After inputting your text prompt, Gingerbread will intelligently layer that generated image over the 3D preset that you created. So the champagne bottle appears just where you want it, adding that depth of personal touch and realism that was previously impossible. It begins by allowing users to drag and drop 3D models into an image to act as the base of an AI-generated visual element. The user can then adjust certain details like the perspective and the angle of the object to ensure it perfectly fits into the original image. Afterwards, via text prompt, create the preferred visual element with accurate dimensions to look as lifelike as possible within the composition. This functionality offers you a lot more customization, and as a bonus, it is more efficient than the current AI tools available, where you create images with the use of written descriptions and hope that it comes out just the way you like it. Or even worse, you spend so much time editing the image manually or tuning your prompt to get the desired look. Watch these videos as well, hit that subscribe button and drop a comment to let us know your thoughts.